Hi, I'm Dan Levisi and I'm the Stan Winston School of Character Arts and today we'll be focusing on digital painting in Photoshop. In today's lesson, I will be showing you how I add story into my paintings and how we can bring character out of that. For example, with Gabriel. As you can see, you might look at this and be like, whoa, he has way too much stuff on him to fight, blah, blah, blah. But that wasn't the point of this image. I wanted to make him living, walking example of the history that he's done. So, for example, you know, he has the stickers on him from the people that he's like promoting. Uh, he's got the chalk marks, which I can't reveal, but they're not from the people he's killed. It's something cooler. It's all these things that make you feel that he's real. And it's because you feel like he's done this stuff, he's put these things together, and that he's orchestrating them. And it makes the audience go, who is this guy? What's his backstory? What does he do, what he, or why does he do what he does? What's he all about? And what are all these things on him? So a lot of people ask me, how do I do my blood? And it's seriously really easy. I set my brush to multiply as well. I usually like to get like a warm red, nothing too dark, because if you go too dark, you won't be able to see it. If you go too bright, it'll look weird on the skin, you'll see. So you want to get it like a mid-bright, like right there. What you want to do is start working in that base shape. And then from there, since it's set to multiply, when you begin to paint on top of it, it's going to increase the bright or the darkness of it the more you put onto it, giving you a thicker streak. All right, here we go. Let's get going. <laughs> 